Hello everybody! We are going on a little afternoon date day, so we thought we'd take you along with us. So Nick's taking me to one of his favorite Toronto spots that he discovered, and I'm really excited to share the experience with him, and I'm curious to see what it has in store for us today. Place that I brought Rachel to today is an arcade bar called Z80. Let's head on in. As mentioned, Z80 is an arcade bar located in the east of Toronto. The idea behind it is very simple. You turn up, pay $5 cash on the door, get your wrist stamped, check your coat for an additional $2 if you need to, and then enter. What you are then treated to is a wide range of different machines offering you all sorts of retro gaming options. The upgrade on the arcades of old though is that rather than each machine being pay per play, all of them have been reprogrammed to offer unlimited play, so you can play as many of them as you want for as long as you want. For a full list of what's available then you can always check Z80's website, but the ones that caught our eye the most included Miss Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Tetris and Daytona USA. If the arcades themselves aren't enough to get you excited though, then they do offer skee-ball as well as a range of differently themed pinball machines, from the Addams Family to Star Wars to Transformers, among many others. Equally, if you're more of a console gamer, then there are also three booths available. Each booth is equipped with a different console in them, and hundreds of playable games for those consoles that you can freely switch between. The consoles currently available are the original NES, the Sega Genesis, and the N64. Outside of the gaming, there is a fully stocked bar including a bunch of local Ontario craft beers on tap or in cans. If you're hungry, there is a full food menu complete with various gaming references through it as well. There are a couple of things to keep in mind though. One, the food options are not necessarily the healthiest, with a lot of emphasis on burgers and deep fried food. Therefore, if you are a little more health conscious, then perhaps it may be better to have already eaten prior to coming here. Two, while the location is open six days a week from Tuesday to Sunday, the kitchen is only open from Thursday to Sunday each week. They do, however, allow for outside food to be brought in on Tuesdays and Wednesdays to compensate.
So that's the concept. While it may sound unique for this city, this wasn't the first of its kind. Originally there was another arcade bar called Tilt, which was located in the Little Italy neighbourhood of the city. After the success of that place, they decided to open up this location a few years ago so that people who were located more east could get the same experience without such a long journey. Unfortunately though, despite managing to survive the COVID-19 pandemic and reopening afterwards, in May 2022, one of the apartment units above Tilt caught fire, which spread downwards and ravaged through a lot of the building. It took a lot of effort from fire crews to stop the blaze, and while a lot of the games were able to be salvaged, the rest of the building is severely damaged to this day. As a result, until they can raise enough funds, then Tilt will remain closed indefinitely. If you want to help support a local Toronto business in getting back on its feet though, then we will provide you with a link to their GoFundMe page. The silver lining though is that Z80 in its stead is doing a roaring trade, offering the same nostalgic experience of playing your favorite retro games in a clean and comfortable space. After an hour and a half of playing games, we are all gamed out. But we do thoroughly recommend Z80 as a place to go if you find yourself in this part of Toronto. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>